Good afternoon and welcome to TVM News. Today's Friday, April 23rd, 2021. I'm Cheyenne Amick, filling in for Emma Rushworth. And I'm Ellen Franz. Today we'll be doing things a little differently at TVM News. That's right, Ellen. Today we have guest anchors Chris Caldwalder and Callie DeBilio for Marywood's SUR program. The Students on Campus Achieving Results program was founded by Marywood and the Northeastern Educational Intermediate Unit back in 2008. This program provides an environment in which older students with autism spectrum disorder can prepare for future employment and their independent lives. We are so thrilled to have the SOAR program with us today. They are, out, they are an outstanding group who work extremely hard. We can't wait for you guys to meet them. After the guest anchors show you their talent, we'll check in with TVM sports anchor Eric Spivak. Stay tuned. We'll be back right after this short break. Every day. Every day. Millions of people are connecting. And even though we're overcoming obstacles, watching each other's backs, and banding together, we should still make an effort. We should still make an effort to get to know each other on a deeper level. Father, cosplayer, mentor, actor. It's time we take a step forward. It's time we take a step forward. Come together and discover how accepting our differences can, can make, make us stronger. Good afternoon. My name is Chris Calder, and I will be one of the guest anchors today. And I am your second guest anchor, Callie DeBilio. Marywood University will be back in person the fall of 2021 semester. University President Sister Mary Persico confirmed that classes will be fully in person and that mask wearing and social distancing protocols will still be in effect. The university will be following all CDC and Department of Health guidelines. Marywood's fall semester begins August 23rd. Marywood has announced its 2021 com commencement speaker, Tony Award winning uh, author Stephen Cameron will speak to graduates on May 15th during the fourth commencement ceremonies. Cameron is best known for his plays The Human Sons of the Prophet and Speech and Debate. Cameron teaches graduate play playwriting in the new, new school in New York and is a Scranton native. Marywood's academic camps for this summer have been announced. The various camps include topics such as pottery, comic books, biotechnology, and theater. The camps are open to a variety of ages, with some camps ranging from 10 to 14 years old to high school students. All CDC and Department of Health guidelines will be followed at the camps. To register, go to marywood.edu camps. Marywood's Accounting and Finance Club will hold a candlelight ceremony to honor the lives lost due to the COVID-19. The club will hold the vigil to mourn the lives lost and pray for the healing of the families who lost loved ones. The event will take place on April 27th at 7 p.m. outside the Mer McGowan Center for Graduate and Professional Studies. Marywood is holding its first Transfer Tuesday program once a month until August and it starts May 18th. Those interested in transferring to Marywood can make half hour appointments starting at 2 p.m. The Transfer Tuesday programs gives those interested in, trans in, the, in transferring the opportunity to get information on Marywood and the program will be transferring into as well as take tours tour of the campus. Marywood has announced its summer athletic camps and clinics. The school will offer camps for swimming, lacro lacrosse, basketball, volleyball, esports, field hockey, and soccer. The camps will follow Pennsylvania State and CDC health guidelines to assure the health and safety of all participants. We'll, when we come back, tell you about a Boyle advisory that has taken place in Luzerne County. Myth. If you get COVID-19, you'll recover after a few days. That myth is false. We're only just beginning to understand the effects of COVID-19 on the human body. As we're starting to see more and more people identifying as long haulers who are having symptoms for weeks, if not months, after their initial infection. Continue to wear a mask, socially distance, and wash your hands. Together, we can keep COVID out of school. For ways to keep your community safe, go to backtoschooltogether.com. Hey, Bobo, do trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey, why don't we go find out? Listen. 
Do clouds take naps? I couldn't tell you. Dad, do stars visit their friends? Look! Hey, let's check out this park. Find a great local park or forest near you. Go to discovertheforest.org. I don't think we're free in this country. And for a hundred years, you saw black people menaced and targeted and lynched and beaten and brutalized. I think we're burdened by this history. More people have to be willing to do that uncomfortable, inconvenient thing that justice requires for things to get better. Truth can inspire change. Learn more at EJI.org. Residents in Luzerne County are under a boil adv advisory this week. A 12-inch water main broke near Newport Street in Glenleon on Wednesday. Pennsylvania American Water advised residents to boil their water before using it. Residents near the break may experience low water pressure or no water pressure repair until repairs are completed. Friends of the Poor hosted a flea market this past Saturday, April 17th in South Scranton. The nonprofit was selling donations that the pantry wasn't able to repurpose and has been doing this for 35 years. All proceeds from the flea market go to the nonprofit so they can stock up items and host uh, other events. Healthcare workers in Wyoming County are on strike. Employees of Tyler Memorial Hospital in Tahannock took to the picket line this week for a three-day strike because they have been without a contract since February. The workers said that the working conditions have begun to affect patient care. Tyler Memorial Hospital is part of the Commonwealth Health Network of Hospitals. Which, briefly, which responded briefly, saying that the quality care is being provided at Tyler Memorial Hospital in Tulhannock. An apple tree planting effort has begun in Centralia. Centralia has been abandoned since 1962 when a fire broke out in the mines below. Although the fire is still burning, residents from Columbia, Schuylkill, and Luzerne County are determined to make the ground above a better place. Bicycle racks were installed in Stromsburgs on Tuesday. After three years of residents fighting for bike racks to be placed downtown, the first of 10 was installed near 8th Street and Main Street. A $10,000 grant from the Monroe County Transit Authority was used to fund the bike racks. The Pottsville Free Public Library hosted their third annual Light in the Darkness art exhibit last weekend. The exhibit showcases art from local artists displayed a black light. The paintings, photographs, and mixed media pieces at the event were for, all, for sale. Well, okay. When we come back, we have news to tell you about the coronavirus in Pennsylvania. Myth. I can party with people as long as they don't have symptoms. That myth is false. As we've seen, up to 40% of people who have COVID-19 are asymptomatic and can pass it on to others. So I'd recommend avoiding any social parties, especially indoor ones. If you want to try to socialize but reduce your risk, I'd recommend meeting outside in small groups, continuing to wear a mask, and socially distancing from others if you can. Then together, we can keep COVID-19 out of school. For ways to keep your community safe, go to backtoschooltogether.com. Jordan knows he shouldn't eat this entire bowl of nachos, but tonight, he's earned that right. Because a few hours ago, in the middle of happy hour, he recognized a sign. Not from the gods or a bolt of lightning, but from a double heart, a kissy face, and a fourth ha in ha ha ha. That's when Jordan knew he was buzzed. So when it was time to go, he got a ride home instead of driving. Be a legend like Jordan. Recognize your buzzed warning signs and get a ride home. Buzz driving is drunk driving. I am what hunger looks like in America. 
I am an eight-year-old girl who's not excited for the last day of school. Because this may be the last time I'll have lunch. Till September. I am a single father of two who works three part-time jobs. And that's still not enough to put food on the table. I was created by artificial intelligence from faces of the one in eight Americans who struggle with hunger. Feeding America, 200 food banks strong. What do you think you're doing, Kevin? I uh, was just gonna drive home. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, there are several warning signs present that you shouldn't be driving. Like hearing voices? Like your text to emoji ratio? Oh man, the selfies. <laughs> Selfie nailed it. We all have warning signs that let us know that we're probably not okay to drive. Mine is pretending to be your subconscious. Craig, come on man, let's put a ride home. Pennsylvania recorded 64,037 new coronavirus cases in the last two weeks, and there have been 60 new deaths. The statewide total of confirmed coronavirus cases since last March is now 1,118,470. In an effort to stop the death toll from growing, over 7 million doses of a vaccine have been distributed to Pennsylvania. NASA has selected the starship they are going to use to put the first woman and the next man on the moon. Elon Musk's SpaceX starship has be begun choosing and the, the mission is slated to happen in 2024. This will be the first time since 1972 that humans have touched down on the lunar surface. Former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin was found guilty in court to the death of George Floyd last year. Chauvin was charged with second and third degree murder and second degree manslaughter. Jurors deliberated for 10 hours before returning to the verdict Tuesday afternoon. Chauvin will be sentenced in the coming weeks. Last spring, 73 was West Point cadets were caught in the biggest cheating scandal at the military academy in decades. All the, con all the convicted were freshmen except for one in the, in the, and they were caught cheating on an online calculus exam. Eight out of the, out of the 73 students were expelled while the rest are required to repeat a year of their s studies. A Texas senior has made an impact on school policy for his district. Senior Trevor Wilkinson was suspended last December for wearing nail polish. The openly gay student refused to remove his nail polish and was given a suspension. The, the, the Clyde Col conceded independent school district has updated the policies to be more gender neutral for the upcoming school year. Identical twins were separated at birth 36 years ago have been reunited. Molly Sunneret and Emily Bushnell had no idea that they had a twin until Bushnell's daughter and took a DNA test and received unusual results. The two were able to contact each other and share photos of them wearing matching outfits without even knowing the other existed. We would like to thank TVMM News for, for having us today. This was such a fun experience. We cannot wait to come back. Thank you, TVMM News. When we come back, we'll check in with sports anchor Eric Spikvik. Spikvik, stay tuned. COVID-19 has changed how we express our faith and gather to worship. Now it's time to take the first step that lets us get back to spreading the word without spreading concern. Before we can safely come together, we need the facts. As COVID-19 vaccines become available, you may have questions. Should I get it? Is it safe? Should I wait? It's smart to question. Now, get the facts at GetVaccineAnswers.org so you can make an informed decision when vaccines are available to you. Hey world, I have a quick message. It's about safe driving. All right, let's go. Anytime you're driving, have the seatbelt buckle tight, both hands on the wheel and your phone out of sight. We're not in your hand trying to text somebody back because if you do, your car might get smacked. The moral of the story, just put your phone down. The people on the road will stay safe and sound. Put your phone down, put your phone down. People on the road will stay safe and sound. Yeah. <laughs> Go. 
Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not sure about you, Ellen, but I think those two did a better job than we do. Cheyenne, I think you're right. We better watch out or else we'll be out of a job next semester. Now that we're back, let's check in with TVM sports anchor Eric Spivak. Eric, tell us what you got. Three track and field pacers were recognized by the Atlantic East Conference this past week. George Thompson was selected as Men's Track Athlete of the Week. Kirsten Persico was selected as Women's Field Athlete of the Week and Caitlin Mills was selected to the Atlantic East Conference's honor roll. Congratulations to these awesome Pacers. Freshman Sam Bolteritis has been named Softball Player of the Week by the Atlantic East Conference for the first time in her collegiate career. Bolteritis led the Pacers 3-1 with two home runs against Gwyneth Mercy last week. Keep up the great work, Sam. Field hockey will be traveling this Saturday to compete against the Wilkes University Colonels. The game will start this Saturday, April 23rd at 7.30 p.m. Good luck, field hockey. Moving on to world professional sports, Greek tennis player Stefanos Tsitsipas won the Rolex Monte Carlo this past Sunday. Tsitsipas collected his first ATP Masters 1000 title with a 6-3 victory over opponent Andriy Rublev. Tsitsipas and Rublev are the only players to have 20 or more victories this season. The Orlando Magic vs. the Atlanta Hawks head-to-head -head on Tuesday night. The game took place at Phillips Arena in Atlanta, Georgia, and the Hawks came out victorious with a win of 112-96. to This is the Hawks' fifth win within six games as they push closer to the playoffs. On Monday, April 19th, the Detroit Red Wings faced off against the Dallas Stars at the American Airlines Center in Dallas, Texas. The Red Wings fought hard but lost 2-3 to Dallas after the Stars scored the tie-breaking shootout goal. That's all for sports. Back to the desk. We would like to give a special shout out to our guest anchors and guest crew members today. What you viewers don't know is that while Chris and Callie have been working hard out here on the camera, the rest of the solar students have been working hard behind the scenes as crew members. You guys did such an amazing job today and we are so thankful that you were able to come. A special thanks to Regina Fidium, one of the SOAR professors, who worked hard with TVM to make this happen. From all of us here at TVM News, thank you for tuning in. Be sure to follow TV, TV Marywood's YouTube page and like the TVM Facebook page to stay up to date on the latest happenings and watch additional content. I'm Cheyenne Amick. And I'm Ellen Franz. We'll see you next week.